Grace and mercy and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and mercy and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. We're still going to be in the top of the suited up. Amen. We're going to be suited up. Amen. Let's go to Ephesians. to me, if it doesn't deliver me, I don't want to preach it. Yeah. So where I am now, everything, well, I think I was there before, yes. but where I am more so now, I'm exploring the Bible for personal deliverance. Oh, yeah. So if you, the writer Paul is writing, and when he's writing, he's writing from jail, say from jail. Oh, yeah. and, that, and I was just paused on there, that just had me right there, um, Astria. I said, this man is writing to the Ephesians from jail. And he's encouraging them from jail. Say from jail. Y'all gonna get it in a minute. How do you encourage somebody from jail? You telling me to put the whole armor of God on and you telling me to stand and fight and be a good courage and all of this stuff. And then finally, my brother, from jail. And when I examined the part from jail, there's some things that when you're in jail, you can't eat till somebody else feeds you. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You got to get up when they say get up. Right. You pretty much have no rights. Right. So I examined myself in this, Nivea, and, 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 and as I examined myself in this, I had begun to repent in my teeth, Jimmy, because there was times that I did not get to shop like I want to shop and I could not encourage someone. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's good. I think y'all gonna just get in my business but I'm gonna deliver me. There's some times, there's some things that did not go my way and I didn't feel like encouraging no one. There's some relationships and partnerships and friendships that have disappointed me and I felt like I don't have nothing else to give. And this man is in jail for preaching, for preaching, for preaching the gospel and still encouraging from jail. How do you get to a place that you believe God so much that you can encourage someone from a locked up situation? That's good. That's good. I can't go out when I want to. I almost lost my mind during the pandemic. Hey. Just from, you know, yeah. can, can we just keep it? Keep it right. Right. Yeah. There was time during the pandemic, all we can do is just go 
and, and, and just sit there and, 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 you know, walk the dogs or stay in a limited space, in a limited area. And, and we, well, I ain't gonna say we, but there's times that I look and say, God, wait, hold on this. You did not bring me here for this. And, 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 and had nerve mercy at little times to have a little two. Just a little, little two. So I'm reading Paul and, and he's encouraging them and talking about finally my brother stand. And, but so, so I says, okay, God, what am I gonna get out of this? He says, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Paul is equipped to minister because he's in a place of being locked up. I don't want nobody preaching to me in my teeth, Tasha, if you can't live this. Don't tell me how to forgive and you've never been in a compromised situation or your heart has never been hardened that God delivered you. I don't, uh, 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 I don't want just a message. Anybody can Google this and put some definitions together and pad it up and fix it up, preach it up, hoop it up, holler it up, and read it back. And then they go, but, but I need this word to literally change my life so I can now change others. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Amen. Anybody can write it. I don't need the homiletics, I don't need the Greek, and I don't need the Hebrew. I don't need to speak in all the mother language because I don't speak in them every day anyway. I don't need to impress you. And I'm now to the point, MIT, G, Jimmy, that I don't even need to do it for the bag because I got the oil. Yeah. Such as I have, I give unto you. Hey, hey, watch your phone. So when I was looking for the bag, because they set him up near the gate called Beautiful, yeah, 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 yeah. and they had set him up to announce for his arms, but what he, what, what, what he needed was something to make him whole. So when I thought a check would satisfy me, I realized after I got the check, I needed another check. And I realized after I got that check, I needed another check. And I realized after I got that check, I needed another check. And, but I needed the oil, not the bag. So I was chasing the bag when I needed the oil. And let the truth be told, some of us had the bag but never had peace. Some of us had the bag but never was whole. Some of us had the bag but never had joy. I didn't say gladness, I said joy. My soul, shit, tell my mama. So Paul is encouraging them from a locked up place, Pastor, and he gets to a place where he say, he tells the people with the wear mm. and put the armor on. Mm. And normally when you put the armor on, we talked about how we were fighting others. Mm. And when I examined it, Minister Clarissa, mm. I looked at it and says, truth be told, I don't think I'm fighting others. Mm. I'm fighting me. me. Yeah. That's That's right. Right. That's right. That's right. Last week I talked about, two weeks ago, I talked about the breastplate of righteousness, how you have to put the righteousness over the heart because the breastplate of righteousness righteousness serve, forgive me if this word is too strong, as a condom. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I realized that oh, a condom will protect you from an STD uh -huh. but I realized some of us including me was walking around here with an ETD. Ooh. An emotional transmitted disease. Ooh. Wow. 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 All this morning. Wow. Watch it. Son, I realized oh my God. I had an ETD for years that I learned to live with the sickness, the illness, and all that came with it. I had an ETD of unforgiveness. I had a, we were talking about something today. You said, no, you didn't, the other day you said, no, you didn't say that. You said that about that person. No, you really esteemed them like that. And, but what happened was, I'm the type of person is, if you're not what I need you to be, there's a block that will come over me. That I would just totally erase you out my mind, out of sight. Out, and, and, and I didn't really, and, and she kept saying, she said, no, you did say this. I said, I saw that person in that place. I said, she said, yes, she did, and you really understand that. I said, no, I didn't. I couldn't have said that. No, I couldn't, because that's just not even that. I think because, and that's something that I had learned from the world. 
So because I'm recording and rationalizing and replacing, I had to go back to record. Where did you get that from? Where did you get that from? Unwired. Come on. So I realized that I was walking around with an ETD. So some of us protect ourselves from STDs. We have to protect ourselves from an ETD. An emotional transmitted disease. I know this thing is being recorded, so I don't want people to catch the editing part and go, that man said he was sick. I ain't sick. I ain't got no STD. An emotional transmitted disease. I know I have that. You got it. At times, but I don't have no STD. That's true. And his body is fully healed and been healed since 1999. Hallelujah. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So he says, so, so I, I'm reading this. And I'm like, Lord, what are you saying to me? He says, there's some events, there's some moments we had in our lives that we call an ETD. Oh, yeah. 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 And we've been walking around for years, not healed. And spreading. Now, I'm going to get to that because I didn't get to that because that's what, that's what they're talking about, the antibiotic. Uh -huh. Because something I looked up, see, you know, pushed me somewhere now. Because the <laughs> antibiotic is an agent that stops the, an, the, 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 the bacteria yeah. that keep from reproducing. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. And some of us have not been, you know, oh, come on, so, come on. Huh. because we have this ETD, we have passed it on to people and they reproduce. Yes. They reproduce our negative ways. Yes, that's good. Hurt people, hurt people. Yes. They reproduce our stealing and negative and, and negative perception and low self-esteem and you know low self-confidence and all that. We've just been passing it on because one person has hurt us in 1984. Somebody hurt you in. 1991 and somebody hurt you in 1995 and somebody hurt you in 2000 and somebody hurt you and because you never got over it and because you never put the righteousness over your heart to stand in right standing you walking around and then, then, then when we got nervous, this is just who I am that is not who you are. If you got to feel like that's who you are, you got to go back to Genesis 1 and 26. Yeah. This time we're going to make man and our, our, my own image, and his image is the fruit of the spirit. That is not who you are. That's who you encountered over life, and you had a bad experience, and you got nerve to bring it to the church because you have not allowed God to alter your life. You came to the altar, but you left and did not become altered. Oh. I've been with him. I've been with him. Each, will you hear me? I've been with him. I hear and hear well. I allow him to go into areas so that I would not have allowed him to go in months ago. I said months ago. Because I said. I don't only want you, but I want the full you. Yes. He says, if you don't want, if you want the full me, the only reason why you're going to get the full me is if you allow me to fully to operate. Mm -hmm. And I'm not that, my, my mom, so. Jesus. And when we have come to a place that we want God just to get our enemies and we think God has done something. Mm -hmm. But when you get to a place of real deliverance, you let God get me. Yes. Don't get nobody else. Yes. Wash me, purge me, go through the inward part. The hidden part, I, I, I just don't want to be somebody that's just faithful in my tithes and my offering. I just don't want to be somebody that's faithful with coming to church on Sunday and Tuesday. I just don't want to be somebody that will lift your name up. And, 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 and there was a time I wouldn't even preach on a Friday, so it had to be God. Oh, I don't do Friday church. <laughs> Saturday, what? We do what? That's, not, that, that, that's a lie. That's not in my ministry. Monday's my rest day. And don't call me before 10 o'clock. Yes, Lord. But Paul <laughs> is ministering from a prison. Come on, come on, come on. And I'm free. Jesus. And won't even minister. I'm free. 
guy is walking through the mall shopping but don't want to click over. Wow. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. A real alteration alters your life that it takes the appetite out your mouth. Do you hear what I'm saying? Meaning what you have an appetite for, you allow it to inconvenience your schedule to minister to God. Some of us went on a fast, and we went on a fast in my teacher, Jessa, and just said, listen, I'm on this three-day fast, and good God, I just can't wait to get off this fast so I can get my Pepsi. But no, God is trying to tell you, I don't even want you to get off the fast. I want that to be your lifestyle. So what you fasting ain't even supposed to be in your appetite. Right. supposed to be different ah. after a fast. And then there's a level of maturity that we get to a place in God that we ain't even supposed to be fasting from some of those things because that's supposed to be just your norm. Yes. 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 Jesus? That's that reasonable service. Jesus? Oh, shit, oh, so, we talked about the breastplate of righteousness, of putting the righteousness over our heart. And when you put the righteousness over your heart, I want to know why you still got a hard time forgiving? You preached it. You can sing it. You danced it. You even can prophesy it. And that's why I say I don't even want nobody prophesying to me in this season. Because I'm in his face and he's talking to me. You only need somebody to prophesy to you, the, the, the prophesy to you when you can't hear. Cut your nose say, I can hear in this season. Keep your word and use your word for you. For you. That's right. That's right. Me. Right. I'm so glad I, I'm who I am. I had one of these and I'm a, I'm a segue out on that. One of the girls in my church told me something not too long ago. I said, the Lord showed me what was going on in your bedroom. I said, how the Lord showed you what was going on in my bedroom? And here it is. We ain't even been down here again. She just, she going to say that. Wow. No, but that's what I'm saying. What I am saying is that people, you can't let people prophesy and speak in your life. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. When they still working on their life. Come on, baby. And they're rehearsing and practicing yeah. and utilizing you right. as the guinea pig. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what am I saying? I'm coming to a place that I said, Lord, before you even put, have me to put my finger towards someone else, mm -hmm. put it towards me. Right. Wash me, mm -hmm. purge me, yes. go into the hid hidden parts, That's right. go into the areas that I have not even invited you. Mm -hmm. the area that I haven't invited you. Because I need you to take over. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, I'm going to be a mess. My Lord, my Lord. So we said we put on the breastplate of righteousness. And righteousness, we talked about that, how the righteousness, you know, covers the heart and keep you in, and supposed to keep you in right standing yes. that you can operate and be effective without operating in emotional with an emotional transmitted disease. Yeah. Yeah. Now what also happens is I want to talk about the the uh, the truth. Yeah. The belt of the, 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 the yeah. truth. You can't get nowhere until you get into truth. That's true. That's true. That's true. I'm gonna say it again. You can't get nowhere until you can get it. I don't care how much you dance. I don't care how much you shout. I don't care how much you come to church. I don't care how much you speak in tongues, unknown and other. You can't get nowhere, baby. Let me tell you something. You gonna have to get to your truth. It, the thief on the cross even said, I'm a thief and I deserve to be here, but it got him in paradise. Right. The truth. The truth. David, after he slept with Bathsheba, and God still never acknowledged Ish, Bathsheba as being his wife, that still say the wife of Uriah, for the man that you killed. Right. But David right. still right. being a king. Hey! Come on! That's right. Come on. Said, wash me, yep. purge me, yep. <laughs> make 
and whiter than snow, create in me a clean heart and a right mind. And whatever you do, don't take your joy or your anointing or the oil from me. He never said, don't take the palace from me. He never said, don't take the kingdom from me. He never said, don't take the position from me. He says, whatever you do, because David, oh, I'm on so shit. He understand how he got to where he needed to get to about winning the battles. I just, this is not, this is not, but David understood this so that even when everybody else was seeing Goliath as a giant and a reproach, yeah. David just saw him as an uncircumcised Philistine. Right. 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 Look how he addressed him. Who's, the, who's this uncircumcised Philistine? Yeah. Yeah. Because I have a covenant with God. Yeah. And I also know that you're out of order. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all putting armor on. I'm on, so thank you, God. Wow. People are putting armor on to fight Goliaths and yeah. lose it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why was David already set up ready to go up against Goliath against a smooth stone, five stone? Uh -huh. Because he understood of who he was. Yeah. And I see who you are. You uncircumcised. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have a covenant. Yeah. I was anointed by Samuel. Sure. Ah, ah. That's right. I was fully equipped fighting lions, tigers, and bears in the field. Oh. I'm a worker. So that's why he could show up to the battle and hold this lunch. Mm -hmm. With, with, with what's really going down? Yeah. Without an armor. Right. Come on. Jesus. Without an armor. And how do you know that? I'm so, the, uh, my mom, so, so says, here, put this on. How am I put something on that you ain't even winning in? Right. Right. Put on your armor, and you're not even. Winning. You're not even winning with your armor on. With your armor, yeah. You're not even winning. How many people are dressed with armor uh -huh. telling you how to fight something that they can't win? That they running from. That they running from. That they, from. That they hiding and running from. Setting you up to fight. You gonna tell me to live in my truth and you can't even live in yours? Right. You gonna come for me and judge me and you can't even make an assessment of your life? Right. Right. Are you doing a tip on me? <laughs> I like it. We got to live in truth. It's the hey. And I said, I'm not going to read this and preach this and minister this and just breeze through it. Yeah. I said, no, we need to digest and yeah. eat on this and yeah. feast on this. <laughs> and who I started was with me. The first service I had was with me. <laughs> It was the worst sale. All you're going to do is just get the drippings of my alteration. Come on, that's good. And I'm not talking about an altar that I have here. I'm talking about an altar where I have to turn the TV off, and I can't watch the half and half knots, and I can't watch all the Tyler Perry shows that I like, and all my Avengers, and I can't watch certain things that I will watch over and over and over and over. And God says, no, 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 I need your undivided attention and focus on me. Because I want to speak to you. And what I want to say to you is, you got an ETD, and I'm your antibiotic. And I need you to take all of me. All of it. Because if you don't take all of me, you're going to get a super infection. And I can't afford to have a super infection at 46.